Hello Mountain Chums, me again today. Today we're having a crack at the Cold Hill Horseshoe. Realise it's been a little while since we did a big expedition. So we're going to have a go six or seven Wainwrights. Starting out at Braithwaite. It's already made quite a bit of height. And it's already a cracking view across to Skidder, Bassenthwaite, and Little Binsey. As well as the initial slopes of Bath. That was curiously named of hills. There's quite a lot of up on this route. Not least because a lot of the hills are over two and a half thousand feet. But there's also some quite good ridge walks, as I recall. So when you're up, you're up. It's just a question of getting up. As we round this first corner, you start to get a glimpse of the whole horseshoe. Off to the left is Barrow, which is hopefully the last hill we'll be doing today. Pike, big old beast. Wainwright talks about doing it, I think, from this side. It's having a taste of real mountaineering. When we get to it, we're not going to do that. Nice little flat bit. And then, not a flat bit at all. Nice little stretch that before the uh, steeper bit begins. But we'll um, climb that hill when we come to it, which is realistically about now. This next bit is very much up. So why don't you um, go on ahead and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll catch you up. <sighs> Oof. Not as young as I was. I think I was probably 10 years younger when I did this last. And haven't just been in 18 months of lockdown. <laughs> you know what they say, go big or go home. So today we're going big. And then, then I'm going home. This is Sleet Howe on the way up to Grisdale Pike. It's just one last bit of a slog to get up to the top, but we're nearly there. Grisdale Pike, 791 meters, 2,595 feet. It's the second highest hill we'll be doing today, the highest being Wainwright's Eel Crag, which is now called Crag Hill, but we'll come to that. From here, quite a nice path off, although it's quite a big descent and then a big way up again. Off to the right is Hope Gill Head, which is a Wainwright, but we're not doing it today.
many hills to play on. Wainwright called this Eel Crag. The Ordnance Survey call it Crag Hill. Eel Crag feels a little bit more exciting and Crag Hill sounds like a bit of a tautology. It is both a crag and a hill. Anyway, that's where we're heading to now. Appropriately named Grassmoor. Off to the right, Eel Crag or Crag Hill. Off to the left, so we're going left. Feels like a long time coming, but this is our second Wainwright of the day. The pace picks up a bit after this. Off in the distance behind me is the old man gently floating in the mist. Eel Crag or Crag Hill, 839 meters, 2,753 feet, and a belting view down into Derwent Water, Keswick, and Skidder. Now we head off over to Sail, which Wainwright called Sail Pass. This bit looks worse than it is. You'll see the, uh, the shine on the rocks where previous travellers have found their way. Sail, Wainwright Sail Pass, 773 metres, 2,536 feet. We head on out to Scar Crags, which I can see dead ahead with a hairpin path up. Beyond that, Causey Pike, zigzags down, zigzags up. But which is the zig? Which the zag? There's a crossing here. If you turn left, you can go down to Alshire side and back down towards Braithwaite. 
travel straight on up to Scar Crags. Scott Craggs, 672 meters, 2,205 feet. We know number four today. Scar Crags, Star Crags more like. It is, as the saying goes, all downhill from here, apart from the uphill bits. Pulsey Pike, 637 meters, 2,090 feet, and our fifth Wainwright of the day. Behind me is the beautiful Newlands Valley. For my money, one of the most beautiful in the Lake District. From here, we head back to where we came, then back down to Outer Side, which involves going quite a long way down, and then quite a long way back up again. But, you know, I knew what I was getting into, sort of. Follow the path right. It follows the contour of the valley, I suppose, down to the main path, but we're not going to follow that path. We're going back up the other side of Outer Side. One on the right seems to promise a quick reward. One on the left seems to be going in the wrong direction. But it is gentler, and for now, that wins out by miles. Outer side, 596 meters, 1,955 feet. The last hill to go is Barrow, which is a big one on the right. And that's the last Wainwright of the day. The trick with Barrow is not to go over Style End, which is a tempting looking hill, but to go slightly to the right and follow on the path down to Barrow Dorf, and then the path leads up from there. Cuts 
off a lot of unnecessary up. Which having done quite a lot of it today, I am now very firmly against. This is Barrow Door. Barrow Door, if you prefer. Five meters, 1,493 feet. Our seventh and final Wainwright of the day. From here, we'll go back down Barrow into Braithwaite, and that's the end of the Colville Horseshoe. It's been a cracking day. I'm gonna do it, but I will say this, this last lump is a mean trick. <music> Nearly back to Braithwaite. What have we learned today? Well, I've learned that three litres of water is only just enough to get me through a day on the hill, and it's not even been that hot, but it's been a good walk. I hope you've enjoyed it. Well, that's about it from me. Thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are. If you've enjoyed this, do please like and subscribe. And join us, hopefully, for another Wainwright walk sometime. Stay safe. Feels quite Tolkieny. Barrowdoor. That came out as um, Ian McKellen as Widow Twanky. <laughs>